Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, my name is Sira Ramadanti Sutisna. I'm from Six Education Subi, Study Islamic University Syarif Hidayatullah Jakarta, and I want to explain Newton's laws. Check it out. Newton's laws of motion. There are a lot of things happening in the world. Objects move, fall, and rest all around us. The force acting on this object can be measured and their motion can be predicted. Renowned English scientist Sir Isaac Newton want to understand the world better. He thought he could describe the movement of the universe through mathematical observation. In 1687, he published the observation in a book, which outlined his understanding of the laws of motion. These three laws of motion are still in use today and can help us to understand the relationship between a body and the force acting on it. Newton's first law Newton's first law of motion says that an object in motion will stay in motion, and an object at rest will stay at rest unless there is an outside force. This law is also called the law of inertia, since inertia is the tendency of an object to keep doing what it's doing. For example, you have to experience Newton's first law if you have ever used a swing on a playground. In order to start swinging, you have to use a lot of force, but once you get going, it can be hard to stop. Here on Earth, there are some force working on objects all the time. When you throw a ball upward, it doesn't keep going up forever because the force of gravity pull it downward. Once it hits the ground, friction or resistance caused by surface rubbing together will eventually bring it to a stop. Newton's second law Newton's second law of motion says that force is the product of mass times acceleration. To make something accelerate, you have to apply a force. The amount of force it takes to move an object changes depending on how massive it is. For example, you will have more force to move a bowling ball than to move a volleyball of the same size. The greater the mass of an object, the more force it will take to accelerate the object, and applying more force will make the object move faster. And last, Newton's third law. Newton's third law of motion says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you jump, your legs apply a force to the ground, and the ground gives the same force, an opposite reaction force that propels you into the air. You can also see the third law in action when bird fly. Their wings press down again the air. The air pushes up against their wings, allowing them to move upward. That's all the explanation of Newton's laws. Thanks for watching guys. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.